Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial that looks at the spreadsheet section of the GCSE ICT control test for Unit 2. Now, what we're going to have a look at in this video is actually a really nice technique that you can use in Microsoft Excel. And in a way, it's just for highlighting specific information that could be useful to you. And that is called conditional formatting. Now, if we have a look on the Home tab, and I go along, and it shows me that there's a conditional formatting option. Now, what conditional formatting does, as I said, it highlights specific information. So, say I chose this column here, and I wanted it to show me the top goal scorer so that they could receive an award. What I could do is I could highlight it and put a conditional format on it to say the top number in that section will be highlighted a certain colour so it shows up and it's easy for me to see. Another way that I could do it is I could highlight this section here and I want to highlight all the people that have played over 70% of the football matches because that to me is an acceptable amount of matches that they should have played on to show that their attendance has been quite good. Uh, I could also do this for bonus, for goal bonus, if I wanted to highlight all the people that had a bonus just so it was really clear, I could also do that too. So let's have a look at those scenarios then. So first of all, what we'll, have, what we'll do is have a look at the goal bonus section. And what you need to do before you apply a conditional format is highlight the cells that you want to be involved in this format. So I highlight all of the entries in the goal bonus and I'll click on conditional formatting. Now what I want this to do is highlight, so it's going to be a highlight cells rule. And the rule that we're going to have on this one is that it's not going to be greater than a particular number or less than or even between a certain range of numbers. I just want this to be equal to bonus. So if the cell entry is equal to bonus, so in other words, if the cell has the word bonus in it, it will be highlighted green. So I'll click on equal to. And what I can do is I could just, and if you watch this column here, as I'm typing the word bonus, it highlights all of the cells that have got the word bonus in it. But another way that I could do this is I could just choose my source, so I click on this icon here, which will allow me to select an example from the spreadsheet. So I could click on the word bonus, and as you can see again, they've highlighted. So I'll click on this icon again to take me back to my options. So now that I've chosen what the cell should be equal to, or the criteria, I can now change what the cell will look like. So at the moment, it's light red with dark red text, as you can see. But I actually want it to be green. I want the fill to be green and I want the font to be bold and black. So if I click on my drop down options, you can see you can choose from the presets here. But I'm going to do a custom one. And what I'm going to do is if I click on to fill, I can change the color to a big bright green so it's nice and clear. And I can change the font to bold or black. Now remember, you can choose absolutely any combination that you want, even if it's just a colour that you prefer over another colour, that's absolutely fine. It's totally down to you because it's a custom format. So I'm going to press OK. I'm happy with that, so I press OK there, and now you can see that if I was to change this to a number greater than 7, which means that they get a goal bonus, or seven or more, if I press enter, then that changes. So the formula works and changes it to bonus automatically rather than no bonus. And it also, the conditional format changes it to highlight green. I'm gonna put that back to five and you'll see that it'll change back the word to no bonus and also the color. So, as I said with the attendance, maybe what I want to do is highlight all of the people that have played more than 70% of their games. So this time we're going to change it slightly, so I highlight all of the cells that I want to be included in the format, click on my conditional formatting, which is on the ribbon under the Home tab, and I'm going to this time choose top uh, highlight cells, but it's going to be greater than a certain number. Now it automatically assumes that it's a percentage because it's formatted that way, but I'm just going to change that to 70. So if it's greater than 70%, it is going to, I'm going to do a custom format again, and I'm going to change the fill 
to green again and the font to black under the color option and bold. I press OK and OK again. And just to show you how that works again, if I change this from 17 to 5, it automatically shows me and changes the cell formatting. So I'll just undo that with Control and Z. Now, if we have a look at the, where is it now? Here it is, the controlled assessment. I've highlighted here what one of the things that you actually need to do, which is identify the largest financial sponsor who will be given free tickets. Now that can only be applicable to the spreadsheet that you come up with. You'll have to fit that into your own scenario. But I can kind of relate that. If I say then I'm going to identify the largest goal scorer or the person with the most goals because they're going to be given an award at the awards evening. So not a million miles away, similar, but yours is in a different context. So let's go through that scenario then. What I want to do is highlight the top goal scorer so that they can have an award at the awards evening. So I highlight this there and I go to my conditional formatting. Now this time we're going to be using top or bottom rules because I'm going to have the top goal scorer. Now what I could do is choose top 10 items because it's going to choose people in the top 10 from this section. And what I'm going to do this time though is go to more rules. And what I'm going to have, it formats the values that rank in the top, or you could have the bottom, to show who had the least amount of goals. But mine's going to be top. And I'm going to change that to 1. So it's the top 1, the top goal scorer. There's no format set at the moment, but what I want this to do is I want it to highlight the fill as a nice light blue. And I want the font to be black and bold as I have with all my others. I press OK and I press OK again. So I've had two people that are joint top goal scorers so it's highlighted both of those for me. So that's a nice little conditional formatting technique there which you should be able to use in your own spreadsheet but obviously the context is slightly different. So there's a few different conditional formatting techniques that you could use there.